Welcome back to second semester. As we have so many interesting dynamics outside of our control that are coming into play. But before I focus on some of our challenges, I think there's some super news and some progress to report here on campus. Since 1997, our Otto Olson building has been at the top of the priority list for the university to want to either repair or replace it. And it's been in bad shape since 1997. Now, some 20 years later, we're finally going to get to raise Otto Olson and get three new replacement projects. First, the Board of Regents gave approval to a $30 million new STEM building to be constructed on the west side of campus near the West Center. This will be the home to many of the residents of the current Otto Olson. So things like industrial distribution, construction management, supply chain, telecommunications, industrial technology, that includes aviation systems, all of those will move over to the new building. In addition, we're gonna be able to add math, physics, and our new engineering program to this building, and it's gonna make it truly collaborative and a unique STEM facility. We're also authorized to put a much needed addition onto the Fine Arts Annex, and that's gonna support the relocation of the Glass and Sculpture Studio. Information Technology Services is also gonna be relocated. We're gonna put those somewhere else on campus. In addition, the Board of Regents has authorized a $6.4 million new child development center to be located on our university village. Now this new center will accommodate up to 100 of our staff and faculty's children, and we're gonna have a state-of-the-art child development program. In addition, it's gonna provide our College of Education with space for 50 at-risk community children. It's gonna be a rich academic setting, training our students with hands-on experience, and in effect, it's an early childhood laboratory benefiting not only our students, but the community of Kearney as well. Now one might ask, how do we do this when there are serious budget cuts looming in the near future? And the answer is these funds are dedicated to the university for construction and maintenance of specific building projects. We can't use these funds to operate campus. They are specifically dedicated to buildings. It's like a mortgage payment. And at the end of the day, this is great news for UNK, our faculty, staff, and our students. The not so good news is the serious nature of the state budget. As I speak, the legislature is debating our current year budget. It was approved two years ago, but because of declining tax revenues, we're not gonna be able to have enough money to finish the year. Thus, the legislature and the governor have proposed reductions to many state agencies to match the decline in revenue. It looks like the university share is gonna be a tad over $13 million this year. It's not been determined though what share of that reduction is going to be allocated to UNK, so we're waiting to see that. At the same time, the legislature is now preparing another two-year budget, which starts in July, and that'll be specific to us. Given that tax revenues are down and are projected to stay down in the near future, we're expecting some rising costs and less money to meet those needs. It's projected as high as $54 million is what the university-wide cut's going to be. It's a serious challenge. To that end, President Bounds has established committees to find efficiencies and reduce spending in many cross-campus functions. We have a number of UNK members who are serving on these committees, and it's tough work, and, and they're gonna report the recommendation to the President yet this spring. I really appreciate them spending some time with that. All of this said, we don't know what our share of the reductions are gonna be at this time. When we do, we're gonna identify proposed areas of reduction and we'll seek the input of campus. Our number one task this spring is to reduce the impact of lower budgets on our students, staff, and on our faculty. On a brighter note, recruitment for next year looks better than the last couple of years. It's very welcome news, and my appreciation goes out to everybody who stepped up their game and been a difference maker in getting more students to enroll at UNK. We need to keep this up this spring and make sure we get them here in the fall, and I'm sure that we will. Until next time, go Lopers.